societal pressure, parents' pressure, and it's it's interesting because that pressure can become such a it becomes another voice in us. So whenever we make decisions, something that we really want to do, sometimes that voice starts telling us maybe you shouldn't do it. Are you going to make money? So perhaps we can dive into this voice and recognize what is your instinct, what is your intuition, and what is the voice of other people that may have good intentions but is not serving you. Welcome to Whole and Unleashed, a podcast about coming home to ourselves. I'm your host Jessica Locke, a holistic mindset, strala yoga, and human design guide. This podcast is not about telling you what to do; it's about sharing stories and tools to connect to your inner wisdom, and maybe give you an extra nudge towards living wholeheartedly. Because deep down, only you know what's best for you. We'll be talking mindset, business, recovering from burnout. Human design transitions and so much more. Let's dive in, shall we? Hello, friends. Welcome to another expansion session. I have been doing so many of these, and I'm finally getting around to editing and sharing them here on the podcast. You may or may not notice that my voice is a little bit raspy. I'm starting to be able to. Talk again after being down for two weeks with you know the bug that's been going around for the past three years, and slowly coming back. So bear with me. And I wanted to do an introduction for today's episode just to give a little bit more of context. And expansion session are ninety-minute coaching sessions where you, as a listener, get to be a fly on the wall as I guide my guests through. Whatever they're holding tension or seeking clarity on, and the purpose of these sessions is really about sharing our process with others within a safe space. Sometimes just having someone to listen, to hold whatever we're holding, is enough. And when we're able to relate and witness someone's breakthroughs, it can in turn empower us deeply. Is an opportunity to embrace our vulnerability, courage, and the complexity of being human. Because when you step into your light, you inspire others to do the same. And you might be surprised, but these sessions can be quite lighthearted as well. It doesn't mean we don't go deep. And a side note: if you would like to participate in one of these sessions, go to my website. Wholeandunleashed.com and click on the podcast session. You'll be able to apply for this opportunity, and you know this is not medical advice. It's simply a space to process and explore whatever we're holding together. So today's episode, Mayu wrote to me about feeling overwhelmed, about starting and working in her business. She teaches yoga and she loves it, but whenever it's viewed as a job or a business, she feels this paralyzing pressure. And even though after every class, her students tell that her how much they've enjoyed it, she feels a lot of anxiety and societal expectations attached to it. She just wants to be able to express herself, but there are many challenges that are preventing her from doing so. And as we dig a little bit deeper, you'll notice how it takes some time to actually get to the root of her tension, and that there are many layers that are intertwined with each other. And the more we try to go at it directly, the more confusing or the more resistance can come up. It's almost like we draw blank. When we're asking ourselves, why are we stuck? Why are we feeling stressed about it? So we do go around it in many different pathways until something eventually clicks. So you, as a listener, you might feel like, where is this going? What is happening here? But bear with me as you listen along. You'll see how she eventually gets to the root, the core of. You know, one of the many challenges that she's facing, and English.
English is not her first language, so I can't even imagine how that also adds more complexity to the situation. But I'm so proud of her for taking the step and being open to being guided because I've seen how much she's expanded ever since. It's been close to a year since this session took place. And now that I'm sharing this out loud, I'm wondering if I should do a follow-up episode to check in with her or, you know, with my guests after an expansion expansion session, um, maybe a couple months or a year later. Maybe I can add that at the end of each episode. Let me know in the comments if this is something you would like to see. And if you're on Spotify, I'm going to add, I think, a and a can be prompted. You might be able to answer through there. I'll try it out. Let me know. Um, but without further ado, here's a session. And we started with a quick grounding meditation. I noticed there was some, you know, the energy was high, a mix of excitement and nervousness, obviously. You're welcome to join along if you're not driving or doing anything else. Um, please be safe. And here it goes. I'm glad. I hope it's <laughs> useful. Do you well, think it'll be helpful to start with some like just breathing exercise so we can just come yes. back to ourselves? And then yeah. you can say the first thing that comes up. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. I mean, okay. Uh, so you know yes. how it goes. <laughs> start in a comfortable <laughs> seated position. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and gently closing your eyes. And bring your attention to your inhales and exhales. Big inhale through your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. Just noticing your breath coming and going. Nice and gentle. Notice how each inhale gently fills you up. Maybe your chest, your belly expanding. And in the exhale, softening, slowly flowing out. And a couple more breaths here, just noticing how your body is feeling. Maybe you can do a quick body scan, starting from the top of your head. Just bring your attention there. Slowly flowing down to your forehead. If there's any tension, maybe softening a little bit more. And slowly going down your nose, your mouth, your jaw. Maybe extra softening there. Relaxing your tongue, down through your chin, neck, shoulders, maybe more softening in that area. And slowly flowing down through the rest of your body, through your belly, your hips, thighs. Shins and feet, maybe noticing the contact between you and your floor, your mat, cushion, whatever supporting you right now. And this is the space for you to explore, to take up space, ask as many questions as you have, talk about anything you feel like talking about. Maybe taking a couple moments here to collect your thoughts. What is present for you right now? What is something you would like? Some extra support? Or any questions that you're holding? And take as long as you need. Maybe a few more breaths here. 
And whenever you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Thank you You're for meditation. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so nice. <laughs> uh, so nice. I feel calm and question came up to me. Yeah. And the question wa was uh, I want I want to uh, I want to walk more being showing express myself in this world yeah and out of japan and with full of energy and no uh, taking care of my health which i have which I have for my kids with skin eczema. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I think my I took off after my father's nature of body and she also same uh, type of my body uh, oh type of types of my body. And then so yes, I'm kind of I felt I'm kind of weak or weak organs. Mm. I have. Mm. So you mean like immune similar system? Mm. Similar, yeah. And immune yeah. System. Yes, immune system. Um, do you notice in what sense, like what things affect him and what things affect you? Yeah, stress. <laughs> stress <laughs> and right. also yes, yeah, additives of food and uh, how do you say that uh chemical in the mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. and also uh, restless uh, rest of this yeah restless <laughs> right right mm. right mm. that's it's so fascinating how our body responds mm, to mm. stress, to our environment. Yeah. Yeah, and I've terrible. dealt with like skin issues, a lot of eczema. And I notice that they usually get worse when I'm stressed. Uh, <laughs> and it doesn't help that every doctor I go to, they tell me no. you're too stressed. I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> then what do I do? do I'm <laughs> <laughs> and do you have, did, did you, did you yeah. not? have did you have I, I have it like it's something constant that if I uh, if I don't rest enough if I don't sleep enough or if my environment uh, is very dry mm -hmm. then my skin mm. starts cracking and I'm really just like, why am I so sensitive <laughs> wow interesting because uh, I each time I saw you you're so you have so beautiful skin Oh gosh, like it's the worst was in my hands. So not a lot of people could see it, but sometimes it's just minor patches that only you notice. People don't notice that. And then the more people I talk to, the more I realize a lot of people have these kind of different conditions and it depends. Everything's connected, right? So it depends mm -hmm. on what we're eating, how we're feeling. And also most importantly for me was my inner world. I didn't realize that I was holding on to a lot of things or not expressing myself the way I wanted mm. to mm. And I'm, yeah yeah mm. <laughs> can you resonate with that <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> my Japanese expression is mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. when I say yes Japanese says people mm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah and like, <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> Since you resonated, do you want to dive a little bit deeper? Like, in what ways are you not expressing yourself or finding difficulty to express yourself? To, to, I have a limit. I feel like I have a limit. And 
a lot of pressure. And also the expectation from my parents and the people surrounding me who work, who co-worker who expect me to do same things as same things as my age people right so the this kind of social social uh, mind social expectation yeah, yeah the social be, pressure and pressure family pressure, family pressure. <laughs> I can't with that <laughs> really <laughs> really yeah in Canada as well in Canada but my parents are Chinese and we grew yeah, up yeah, yeah. I grew up in Peru so in a way we stayed very like in our bubble with their Chinese like from their mm. immigrant immigration experiences and they still had their Chinese customs from maybe 50 years ago and they still kept 50 it years around. Yeah, mm. because they immigrated from China for like maybe like 30, 40 years ago, but they still kept mm. the same ideas. Oh, While really? the people in China started maybe evolving or opening to more things, they mm. were like, find a very safe job or find a partner that is oh, very yeah. safe. And mm-hmm. All of those things that I had to really take my time to explore. Mm. So, you know, you mentioned feeling a lot of pressure from them. How mm. does the pressure mm. look like? Is it through like talking? Is it through sometimes guilt <laughs> or nagging? Guilt. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nagging means, sorry, oh, I, what, what does it mean? Nagging, it's almost like someone who's like, oh, you should do this. You should do that. Why didn't you take out the garbage? Why didn't you do that? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nagging. Yeah, I don't know. Another words. <laughs> I cannot come up with another words. Guilty. Uh, nagging. Uh, angry to myself. Uh, irritation to myself. Uh, yeah. Like uh, smugging my self. Mm, and hate, hate to yeah. myself. Hate, hate myself. Mm. 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 Yeah, a lot of pressure. <laughs> pressure. Right. Mm. And that makes you feel like you're not good enough or that you're not doing enough. Yeah, I'm not good enough. I, yes, I'm not totally good. In it. I'm not totally good enough. I feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First of all, oh, I want why? to say like, I'm I'm sorry for that because I think there's nothing worse than having the people closest mm. to us not understand us. Mm. Yeah, but mm. you know, just from the little that I know you right now, I feel like you're so bright, and. <laughs> You know, I can see how many amazing things you're capable of doing if, you know, we're able to remove those barriers, you know, one at a time. Sometimes Mm -hmm. there's a lot of um, conflict or Mm -hmm. resistance from the people around us Mm -hmm. that maybe they want to keep us safe Mm -hmm. and maybe it's their own fears and their limiting beliefs. So they don't, they're afraid of you being yourself because they don't know what that means for them. Mm, mm. They have never experienced out of their safety area. Yeah, yeah. When was the, uh, do you want to dive deeper around there? Yeah. Mm. When was some of the first experiences you noticed where you couldn't do the things you wanted to do or you couldn't express yourself or make the mistakes you wanted to do? Maybe <sighs> first experience or any experience that is popping up in your mind right now. I but I think I think when I was kindergarten, mm-hmm. um, when I try to do something new, um, when I challenge something new play. 
my mother stopped me to do or oh, it's dangerous don't do it or it's uh, uh, it's rude so don't do it <laughs> so she stops me to do some challenge so from and also push me to I didn't like to go to the kindergarten but she wants me to to, she forced me to go there. So that was a, our first experience of a limit. limit. Yeah, limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did that make your body feel? Like, how does it feel in your body, that limit? And then, since then, I, I think since then, I have a skin eczema. Right. Yeah. yeah. I remember mm, when I was a, Three years old, or something like that. Four years old, three, three. Mm. That's when it started. Yeah. That is a lot of. That is a a profound awareness of like <laughs> the the connection that might happen. Sometimes it's it's you know related to the things we do. Other times it's related to our environment or it's genetic. Mm. So you know, I think there is an mm. illusion even in the health industry that if you do all the right things then you'll always be healthy it's not true sometimes some things are genetic <laughs> but you know other times noticing that maybe it is connected to something else can mm. help us take care of ourselves better yeah, yeah. Mm. And, it, and it's funny that you talk about limit and I'm going to bring yeah. a little bit of human design in it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. how much do you know about human design <laughs> Hey, actually, not. <laughs> not I don't. Know, I don't know. No, no idea. Only this book <laughs> that you uh, that that I get. Oh yeah, your, yeah, the your, journal. Your journal only. <laughs> it, so so I don't know. Doesn't, it doesn't talk about human design much, but the ah. the concept I can summarize it to you and help it apply to <laughs> okay. what is relevant. <laughs> but okay. the concept overall is that um, the energies that we have are you know from the time that we're born are what's going to be the most consistent throughout our lives so there will be certain energies that we take in from others and certain energies that you project like that others take in from you mm. and when you talk about limitation one of your main energies like the way you show up in the world it's called it's through this energy gate that is called the <laughs> the gate of let me make sure I have the name, prop. the gate of acceptance. And it's about mm -hmm. accepting what the mm -hmm. limits are. <laughs> so you might <gasps> always feel like Accept there are boxes. Okay. It's okay. accepting it so that you mm -hmm. can get out of that limit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't mean that you say, yes, this is my limit. It's almost like mm -hmm. you are, you get a picture and then mm -hmm. there is um, a drawing and then you get to color it. So you okay. see where the lines are, but okay. maybe you want to go outside. Maybe you want to try something different. Okay. This okay. is that energy of like seeing where the line is, but also okay. wanting to color outside. It's part of mm -hmm. your process. And mm -hmm. I think the fact that you weren't allowed or sometimes when we're not allowed to express where our energies want to go, like we're, you know, our inner alignment or our inner pull wants to go, then we kind of repress it in our body. And because that mm. energy is specifically designed to do that and we don't let it, then sometimes, you know, it sometimes it can turn into health imbalances. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So uh, sometimes we, I want to, so the reason why I cannot go out or try to out of limit is right. energy or health issue <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure i'm not sure mm. which is <laughs> it could be a combination because <laughs> it's never just one thing right because sometimes mm. when we're feeling tired even what is exciting for us usually mm. might not excite us because we're tired or sick and all oh, of that yeah. yes mm. yeah so it, it could be connected to all of it what are some of the social activities that you haven't been able to do because you know to take care of your health <sighs> mm. 
Mm, maybe. Uh, um, so, sir, activity. Uh, to feel. Uh, well, I don't know. Mm, to, uh, definitely, I feel like uh, I need to feel comfortable and no anxiety, remove right. anxiety, or, uh, to sleep deep, to have a deep sleep. Yeah. It's so hard to have deep sleep for me. So I, I try to sleep for long, as long, for a long time, as long as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I know, yeah. Meditation, maybe. Right. Meditation. <laughs> <laughs> <morning>. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes when there's so much going on. But I was curious yeah. about, you know, you mentioned how <laughs> kindergarten was around the first time you realized expressing yourself wasn't mm. safe or people mm. didn't want you to do it. And that was the first time you experienced a little bit of eczema. Yeah. And yeah. is that something that continue to repeat as you grew up, as you, you know, became an adult? Mm. Yeah, yes, I think so. I think so. It's continued. Because, yes, I, it's continued. A lot yeah. of pressure from my parents, a lot of uh, pressure from social pressure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry for my English. It's no, limited. No. That's totally fine. I understand you. I understand what you're saying. You know, societal pressure, parents' pressure. And it's it's interesting because that pressure can become such a, it becomes another voice in us. So whenever we make decisions, something that we really want to do, sometimes that voice starts telling us maybe you shouldn't mm. do it are you going to make money so yes perhaps yeah. we can dive yeah. into this voice and recognize what is your instinct what is your intuition and what is the voice of other people that may have good intentions but it's not serving you mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah and also save save money and i i cannot pay uh, pay for what i want yeah so I I feel like even I have a deposit on my deposit money on my bank. I know, but I it's so hard to pay uh, to buy something that I, I want because I need, I feel like oh I need to save money for future. <laughs> like, you know, so even I want to buy something and I know I have money, but I can't sometimes. So it's it's also stressful for me. Right, because that <laughs> pressure. Yeah, so now we're seeing the different ways that the pressure are mm. extending to other parts of our lives, just like buying something that you would have enjoyed, but also feeling bad about it. You know, it mm. becomes yeah. a part, you know, even if we buy it, we can't enjoy it completely. And I, I mm. know entirely about mm. that, that <laughs> tension of like, oh, yeah, this is for me, Guilty. but I know my parents would never buy it. Guilty. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really trying to like sit back and have being able to detach from that and recognize it with it when it's there to say like okay maybe I can choose myself but I think cultural wise I, I'm Chinese and I think sometimes J Japanese and Chinese Asian cultures are very community oriented or like mm. oriented to the future yeah. if one person does this like you better not do anything shameful because otherwise our family will be shamed for shamed it. Well, for it. no mm. pressure no pressure yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So mm. seeing how this pressure is manifested even in what you do in like career wise and where you want to move, you know, you feel a lot of resistance from that energy. Mm. <sighs> from from 
do you mind to say again the question <laughs> of, of like recognizing um how other parts of you are also noticing the pressure because you mentioned um depositing money and feeling mm. that you can't spend that money because it has to be for the future okay recognize the <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I couldn't understand. Sorry. It's okay. Maybe we can talk about how um the pressure feels when you mm. get money, you deposit it, and then mm-hmm. feeling that bad that you're mm. spending it. How does that feel mm. overall? Like, how does it feel in your body? Ah. Uh. Mm. I. I scared and afraid or of an anxiety uh, uh, of course guilty and my body is like stiff and not not soft <laughs> uh, like a very stuck I feel like stuck. My energy is stuck, baby. Broad circulation is also stuck. No, I don't breathe well. Yeah. Mm. Um, And depression. Um, And a uh, Uh, yeah anxiety is the most is anxiety maybe yeah yeah mm. so let's you know we're holding all of this now let's think about let's go into another world let's think about maybe in the future a few years from now mm. how would that look like <laughs> If you get to tune out all the voices, all all the opinions around you, like imagine whatever you do, nobody gets affected. <laughs> How would that look like? Nobody affect uh, affecting what I what I do. Yeah, like nobody cares. Like nobody you know, cares. There is okay, no okay. Opinion. Okay, okay. <laughs> there is okay. no pressure, guilt. Like, how no, would your days uh, look like? <laughs> eh, so uh, always uh, free and uh, more movable and uh, liberty. And uh, always, uh, I, uh, shine. Uh, every day is uh, shining and challenge to do new things <laughs> easily uh, more light oh, more light uh, oh, oh every day is shining <laughs> every day is shining what how would you wake up what would be one of the first things you do Oh, uh, wake up. <laughs> Maybe feeling so enjoyable, happiness, graceful. I wake up with, with I wake up with this emotion, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing some stretch and a cup of coffee, and then. Start to do some yoga freely, without any <laughs> structure, following structures. Just listen to my body and stretch. Uh, and do start to do. I don't know, a little bit healthy. I have a healthy meal, uh, breakfast and start to do um, some 
planning uh, some um, pra- make a, some plan to my work. <laughs> what would your work Future be? One? Yeah, what would your work? How yeah. would that look like? What is your uh, favorite job or something that you want my, to do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so planning to ex to 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 making a, like I don't know maybe a, planning to do some uh, shell uh shelling some good things in the world so like a retreat or something like this right like planning mm-hmm. a retreat or yes to yeah take care mm-hmm. planning, yeah planning mm-hmm. retreat mm-hmm. shelling new good things from japan <laughs> right right abroad. yes <laughs> sharing your culture <laughs> Yeah, sharing my culture. culture. Like, uh, mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And also, <clears throat> um, Maybe it's nice to sh- share online. Yeah. Mm. Um, online, maybe. Yeah, online or maybe books or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Expressing what you want express, to express. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't have those talent yet. <laughs> so. Yet, because you haven't given yourself the space to explore. So how mm-hmm. does your days look like now? How many hours do you spend like working and how much of those hours are somewhat heavy <laughs> or doesn't feel as good? <laughs> what feels good currently and what doesn't feel so good currently? Hey, so walking, uh, walking at grocery store, uh, studying, uh, uh, goes to grocery store to work all the time without to any warming up of my body. So right. that is not, uh, not my intention to do. Uh, so I prefer. So I prefer the, uh, to do yoga for the beginning of my day, every day. Yeah. So, um, and, uh, I don't have, I don't have totally, I don't have, I, I don't have any, I don't have time to spend for, uh, for nourish or taking care of myself when I my my work day my, right. my work right. day on my work day then when I get day off I have free to do practicing yoga and and cooking or some healthy cooking, healthy food, something like this. Yeah. But I, it's so I want to prefer to divide to noticing, noticing the time in a week. But I always, I, in I. I intensively, I, I intensively practice yoga and nourishing myself on my day off, and the other days is totally not like <laughs> condense my <laughs> nourishment on right. the one Pacific day. So I prefer more divided. Like, right. Mm-hmm. What is um? How does your days look like when you're working? You mentioned that like it's really busy. You get into the grocery store and then what happens after are you exhausted like exhausted 
Right. Yeah, it's those is tired and no energy to do other things. Right. Yeah. So it's almost like in the weekend you're playing catch up. So it doesn't. You can be as nourishing as you can in the in your days off, but mm. if most of your time it's a bit draining of your energy, it's gonna be mm. we're playing catch up. We're like running behind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And it, I just wanted to say, like, this is this is your situation. Like, there's nothing you're not doing enough. Of mm. or like you're not doing anything bad. You're just doing what you can, and mm. it's great that even in your free time off, you get to connect with yourself and feel good. Mm. What do you think the biggest? This might be a big question, <laughs> mm. but what do you think the the biggest challenges at the moment? Because I feel like there is some tension between wanting to express yourself and do the things you want to do. And then there is the pressure from your family mm. to do the things you should do. Yeah. Where are you right now? Are you doing what they're telling you? Are you doing exactly what you want, or you're in the middle, being pulled into two directions? I think middle. Yeah. I think middle. Yeah. I don't. I can challenge. I can. I was. I am pulled. Can I say pulled? What is that? To pull, yeah, like uh huh, yeah. Uh, pulled back, pulled to. Oh, and pulled back, to, yeah. to. To challenge something, I I can I it means I cannot challenge. I feel like uh, hesitate to challenge, and um, on the other hand. I resist what my parents said. <laughs> so right, between right. and um, yeah, between. So yeah, far. yeah. So you're mm. in a place where you're not honor, not you're not able to honor yourself, and you're also not able to honor your parents. And you're just in the middle, <laughs> being <stretched laughs> yeah, just in the middle, further and <laughs> yeah. further. And <laughs> yes, I yes. think you just need to start leaning towards one direction. <laughs> because sometimes we think about change, about where we want to go. Like one day will be bad, and then the other day it'll be easy. I think it takes time, right? So especially mm. if you start, if you start following your inner pull, if you're like, I want to teach yoga five times a day, and then your parents are like, you're not going to make money. If you're like, you mm. know what, I'm still going to do it. As an example, mm. that is going to be uncomfortable. That's going to be scary. But if it feels right to you to go to that direction, mm. how can you honor that? How can you hold, like, not absorb their concerns, their worries, but also stay rooted in yourself? What are some ways that helps you be like, mm, this is what I want? <laughs> you know, almost like be a stubborn child. <laughs> hey, sorry, I couldn't catch what, what that said to me. Right. Sorry, but yeah, sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> it's okay it's okay it's almost like you're you're pulling right you're being pulled yeah, 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 you have yeah, to yeah, slowly pulled. go towards one direction otherwise you're gonna break mm. eventually so yeah. is it the direction you want to go mm. and if there's gonna be a lot of fears and people won't agree how can you trust in yourself and then there's the other direction which is like do exactly what they say and then maybe later you can like break and come back yeah. to yourself you know because <laughs> I know how complicated it is and how many layers there is <laughs> it's so hard to how, how can I trust myself to go what I want it's oh, a big question and yeah why it doesn't okay. come up so I guess the other question to go deeper is what happens if you trust yourself? What are the fears that are there when you say I can, how can I trust myself? <laughs> mm. 
how can I trust myself when I have fear? Yes. Or what, what is the voice that is telling you not to trust yourself? What is it saying? Oh, well, it, it's dangerous. It's, it, it's not, you will not success. You will, yeah, you will, you, you cannot earn money or it's not stable. So being here, staying here is safety and <laughs> you are protected. Um, okay, let's yeah. hold that thought. You said that being here, it's safe and you are protected. Mm. Mm. Do you feel this way with your health, with your happiness? Do you feel this is true right now, that it is safe? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. uh, really? Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not safe or pro not protected. <gasps> you know, I think sometimes our fears can be so strong that we don't mm. let ourselves go there thinking that it will be worst, that we will mm. fall mm. without realizing we're already on the floor right now. <laughs> <laughs> we already <laughs> fell. It's that. like, we can be worse. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm already on that state stay uh, on that state of fearness stays of fairness <laughs> yeah uh so, so what if i really know that oh my god <laughs> <laughs> right right now that you're like oh maybe i'm not as safe as i thought because the the old thoughts it's almost it's so used to telling you that it's not safe out there that you don't even realize maybe you're not <laughs> that safe here either <laughs> 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 so it's almost like the worst is happening my body is not yeah. responding i can't do anything it's almost like huh okay so <laughs> can i really fail more <laughs> who knows <right? laughs> but also what if you don't fail what if when you start doing one thing you really believe in and just giving it time, you know, because everything is nourishment. It's like a little plant. You plant the seed and then you let it grow. Mm. If you keep nourishing the thing that you're really excited about, mm -hmm. what if you actually succeed? What if you realize you have more energy? <sighs> Wait. Uh, traveling abroad I think yeah. traveling maybe Europe yeah. and, and living in a <laughs> living in a cute and <laughs> a fashionable <laughs> place yeah 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 and and uh, uh, maybe uh, more slow life. I have, have have I'm having a slow life and work from at my house or wherever, like yeah. uh, even uh, at a cafe, cafe, <laughs> yeah. and, yeah. and uh, go to local marché mar mm -hmm. and buy fresh food and cook uh, most of the time i rest <laughs> yeah my, yeah yeah on my day <laughs> see how that opened up <laughs> at the beginning when i asked you like what do you think your perfect day would look like you're like yeah. i don't know but then after you realize that Oh, maybe right now it is not as safe <laughs> as I thought. You went straight to like, oh, I would love this. Like it became so much more clear to hear mm. your desires, your dreams. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are so amazing. <laughs> wow. No at all. Oh my god. You are so amazing. Nobody say in that way. Yeah. In that way you do to let people recognize or aware in that way. Wow. <laughs> I, this is the first but time. But it's all you. It's all you. Like you you have so many like dreams and it's all your energies. I'm just here to like clean it up. I'm like, okay, this is yours. This is noise. I'm like, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So how can you start? So I'm going to add a little bit of human design. You can stop me if that's confusing. So part of your process Mm. is that um, talking to someone helps you connect mm. your energies because you have like two energies that are, are, are separate, which is okay. A lot of people have separate energies. Um, some people have like one, a big energy that is all connected. But when you have two energies that are separated, sometimes you mm. can't make sense of it. Sometimes your, your brain is trying to like, oh, tell stories or communicate, you know, that might be a skill that you have. And then another part of you is like, it wants to move your body but you don't know which one to listen to. You're like, do I mm, listen to the body mm, that wants to move? So yeah, part yeah. of your process or just to understand yourself is talking to someone. It could be a friend, a therapist, you know, even something mm. like this that mm. helps you just connect to parts of you. And you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is my truth. <laughs> That's part of your process. And then to add to that, mm. your, your profile of how your energy wants to go is mm. through um, investigating and testing. Mm. So we all have different ways to move our energy. And yours is, it's called the investigator. Like you feel mm. best if you've mm. done your research before mm. you share something. Mm. And then I don't know if it's true. You also learn best when you're making mm. mistakes, mm. which is scary in our culture. So it stopped mm. us from moving that energy. Do you feel like you, like you really, you're literally here to test things out? Have you noticed that part of you that just wants to try it out? <laughs> mm. I've never tried it out. Try, try it out. Right. I've never tried it. <laughs> I, I, I've never noticed there when I talk to my friends and there are yeah uh, I, I have never uh, noticed there is a two energy to, uh, movement yeah. Yeah. It, does it mm. does it relate because it can sound weird when we say that like what do you mean there's mm. different energies mm. <laughs> <laughs> first time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. my body uh, yes my uh, body reaction and uh, energy are different so yeah. i have never noticed but yes i think i haven't it's always ignore I, I think i ignored my body reaction to when i talk to my friends even if i feel stuck or afraid <laughs> afraid just i followed my mind set <laughs> yeah so you have but, like you have consistent mental energy so in your in your human design like the energies mm, that you work with you always mm, have something going on in your mind which mm, is beautiful but it mm, can be too much when we're trying to mm, follow what our body wants to do when we're trying to follow alignment because our brain just like right now when we're talking about fears it can override what we really want to do because it's not safe like why would you do that it's so mm, late at night you shouldn't yeah. you know all those things yeah like your energy is great your energy is here to like make sense of confusion like you have amazing energy but when we're using it to look into ourselves and like and think why are we not better like why can't we make sense of our lives then it adds it's almost like this energy that is designed to go outside 
mm. gets like mm. fried inside. It's like, zzz, like, what are you doing, Mayu? <laughs> this is not meant to. It's meant to like you know help the 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 collective or meant for ideas. But then you're turning it into your own sense of being, and there's like zzz, the programming doesn't work this way. <laughs> <laughs> and then your body, it's like. I need to be moved. Move me. Like you mm. mentioned, how you love yoga. What happens before yoga and after yoga to get a sense of that energy? <gasps> I, I, my feel is calm and light and free. And no less stress. Right. No rigidity. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So feel. Comfortable, and I feel like I feel comfortable in my body. Yeah, and that's like amazing. No, no, yeah, yes, no. Pretend, no. Uh, decoration. That being myself is okay. I feel like I I, I can accept myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. That's almost like you connecting to, like your mind is connected to your body. After mm. yoga, it sounds like, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So if I ask you after yoga, do you trust yourself? What would the answer be? Hey, maybe not yet. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe not, not yet. yet. It's okay. <laughs> it is building, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not yet. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> it's, okay. It's a process. It's a process. Yeah. I think yes. when we're so used to hearing the other voices that are not for us, we don't know which one is ours. We don't know which one to listen to.、Mm. But I think you know part of the beauty of your energies is that a lot of your wisdom, like your inner knowing, your gut feeling, your intuition, is、mm. your body. So notice whenever you feel excited about something, like if your body's like, "Yes, let's go, my you," like let's eat that, <laughs> eat that chocolate, or like <laughs> sleep another hour. You know, notice because excitement is actually your cue, your cue、oh. to alignment.、Mm. This is like the more you do the things that excite you, it nourishes your energy. Think about it. When、mm. you feel good, your body gets to relax. Your body,、mm. your mind, like even when we're doing breathing, everything、mm. just falls into place. And then when、so、we're stressed, stressed, we're like, <gasps> and I, I'm like palpitating. I'm not breathing, and I'm like, okay, I know I'm stressed. My mind knows it, but like, how do I calm my body? And sometimes just like applying some pressure it reminds my body is like, you're safe right now. Right. <sighs> You're safe, or you know, maybe you can be healthier. Of course, we can be healthier, but you know, right now you have support, you have a roof. Okay, how can I? What can I do to honor myself? Maybe it's not、mm. about、mm. figuring out what your ten-year plan is or your five-year plan. Maybe it's just about what does my body need today? Does it need a massage? <laughs> does it need <laughs> and and practice giving your body what it needs. And then see if your energy, little by little, starts、mm. picking up, and you start getting more、mm. clarity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. For example, for example, when I wake up、uh, today, I need to go to work, but I don't want to go <laughs> to work. What should I do? Like, oh, I want to <laughs> sleep more. <laughs> Right, right. So I think it's being aware of the anxiety we're feeling,、mm. and also holding the reality because、mm. we do need to work some days. We do need、mm. to do the things that are not serving us because it helps us pay the bills. But also, feel when you can acknowledge that feeling, like okay, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. Okay, how can I breathe? Come back to my body and say, I'll. I'll do my best. You know, I'll take care of myself. I'll let's see if I can soften throughout the day. And then if you come back and you still feel、okay. like on high alert, you still like it's okay. You know, maybe just telling yourself and your body, 
Mm. I'm okay. I'm safe. And it helps your body calm a little bit more so that you can soothe your body. Uh, And then maybe you you get an idea eventually about Mm. like, oh, I want to apply for another job or, Mm. or I'm just being very dramatic. I'm like, I'm not going to listen to my parents anymore. (laughs) That (laughs) takes a while. That takes a while to get to that point. But you know, whatever decision you feel like when Mm. you're honoring your body, you will Mm. feel you're able to hear yourself more and then follow that voice that is yours Mm. but Mm. the first step Mm. is awareness of like oh oh, I don't want this job you're like I'm feeling this way can I change the situation today Mm. and maybe after 50 days or five days Mm -hmm. you're like Mm -hmm. I can change yeah yes I can change then you do it but if today you cannot change it then you're like how can I take care of myself as I do the things that I don't want to do yet but still take care of myself. Does that, how does yeah, that I land? got it. I got, <laughs> <Yeah>. I got, <laughs> does it feel uh, doable? Okay. okay, so every time, every day, soothe myself to breathe or soften, then Yeah, and uh, notice what uh, my body going on right now. Then maybe go, to maybe choose what my body needs every yeah. time. Yeah, maybe just like um, one little thing, because one little thing. Yeah, I I remember when I was like very stuck burnout mm. very sick mm. mm-hmm. I felt so anxious trying to change my mm. life mm. and it's impossible it's impossible mm. because you are so exhausted that trying mm. to think of a strategy a game mm. plan just makes it harder so I focus on taking care of myself of like okay mm. I am very anxious I just fell down the stairs because I didn't sleep enough mm. <laughs> so I'm like mm. something's wrong with me so I'm like okay what can I do Maybe I just want to watch a movie tonight. Mm. And I know other people would say like, you should work out, you should do that. But I'm, I listen to my body. I'm like, body, what do you need? Mm. And some days it actually wants to rest. And some days it wants to move. But I think practicing this listening to our body and mm. listening to our mm. inner voice, mm. it becomes stronger with time. Hey. So that <laughs> others people's interference isn't mm. a strong. It doesn't take away the pressure that we all feel, but it can help us manage the pressure we're, we're feeling. Uh, oh, I'd like to try. I'd like to. Mm, mm. Wow. But yeah, it's, it's good practice. It's nice practice for me. It's nice practice. And uh, I think my body needs that practice. My Myself, I think definitely I needed my, that practice because for many decades, more than 30 years, I, were, I didn't, I ignored my, the, I ignored the voice from my body and inner, inside yeah. intuition. Uh, it's very hard and difficult, but it, I need it. No, it's hard. I need it. Mm. Uh, so st- is that so? It's okay to try just one step every day. Like, yeah, uh, little yeah. by little, like a baby little by little. step. Yes, yes, the baby Be- step. Like, like you said, <laughs> it was thirty years. You don't change from one day to another. Your body uh, needs yeah. just calming it so that you can come back, and then maybe mm. you start you will get more inspiration about what you want to do, what you feel inspired to. It's hard to be inspired and have ideas when we Mm. are exhausted, sick, when we are like just surviving. It's hard to think about to do all those things. And Mm. we see people online who are successful and doing the things we love and we want to do it, right? (laughs) Yes, and that becomes another noise. Even though it can be an inspirational noise, it becomes noise. So you're like, okay, how can I release, release, release? Maybe yeah. you'll be like, I inspire, it feels so good. I 
believe one day I can. Maybe you don't believe it now, but you just say it. And I'm like, I let go, I let go, I let go. <laughs> and then you're like, what can I do right now? <laughs> and little by little, you will realize that your voice is stronger and you will also realize maybe I can try this out. You know, when you're able to soothe your body and it's stronger, then it can carry you to do more. <laughs> Wow, I, I'd like to do it. I'll try it. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd like to do it. Mm. What are some things you can start doing now? Or one thing that you would like to try? Hey, hey, <laughs> something I would like to do. Mm. No pressure. I can just say things out loud and you can tell me yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> Do you want to, I don't know, like go for a hike? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to go uh, um, to nature, to maybe. Nature. Yeah, yeah, I like, uh, I like to go. Uh, outside of my city and nature, maybe. Yeah. Uh, mm, the one thing I do. You want to, <gasps> for instance, let's say nature. What if, like a couple weeks from now, you plan a trip to go somewhere mm -hmm. just for yourself, and then you might hear the voices of like, "You should be saving money, Mayu. You should not be doing <laughs> that. Why are you selfish? What are you going to say? How are you going to hold that space for all those voices and also yours?" Uh, I, I think uh, what you say will will tell me even I go out <laughs> and go to go to the trip. Uh, Maya, I have to, you have to go back to work. You have to uh, save your money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and what? And, 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 <laughs> Yeah, so I feel stressed again. There. You feel stressed again? Yeah. So, so that's going to happen, right? Because we, we yeah. get some moments of clarity. It doesn't mean that the voices are like completely gone. They will come mm. back sometimes yeah. louder than before. So it's just, again, recognize the voice. You're like, okay, I hear you. I hear you. My, mm. what do you want to call her? My you one. I hear you. My you <laughs> two. My you three. And then another part of you, if you just close your eyes, like, but what can I lose? Am I going to be sicker? Am I going to be miserable from seeing trees? And if only one answer is no, you're like, maybe I will treat myself because you deserve to take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't know if we will, this is a bit <laughs> dark, but we don't know if we will live next year. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> to be dramatic, no. yeah. Mm, mm. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, and right we want to save of course but we also want to live now are you living yeah. right now or are you surviving uh, no, I'm, li no, I'm not living now <laughs> i'm not living now um, if i if i um, well, i'm not sure if we uh, alive next year so in that case I will regret if I didn't do I will, yes but I will regret when I go to heaven <laughs> yeah that you didn't because you were oh so God. afraid of what could happen that you didn't uh, even live uh, so I need to I would like to really <laughs> uh, live in Europe, working yeah. on my by on my business. Oh yes, uh, yes. Stand on my feet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can write yeah. down, like you know, what you really want, because you are mm. here to mm. follow what you want. Like mm. your desires, when you follow what you want it will open the door for more. But if we're always so afraid to follow what we want to do, then nothing will open because we never opened the door. Yeah. <laughs> we're so afraid of falling. And sometimes I think 
something that is super important that we're afraid to do is we need to make mistakes. Mistakes doesn't mean you did something wrong. Mistakes mm -hmm. is just information. It's data. You're like, oh, this didn't work. Then I'll do this next time. This is how we learn. And I think there's okay. a lot of fear around mm -hmm. making a mistake from our parents, our culture, society. Uh, hi. Yeah. But if you can just say, I honored myself, this is how I learn. Like I grow through mistakes. If we mm. never make a mistake, we never grow. Mm. And then we're stuck. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so look at mistakes as data. What is the information you're telling me? <laughs> oh, I decided to, to add chocolate sauce in my spaghetti. Not so good. <laughs> then next time, maybe I can add like orange juice. Oh, that's a new recipe, you know? Like, how can we have fun with mistakes? Even when it's scary. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I would like to uh, try Oh, uh, run new business. Maybe I tr I'd like to try and run new business that uh, I've never tried. Yeah. Not not What's... only I don't know what is it. <laughs> I don't know. Not only yoga or perhaps it's not like uh, awareness beings, but yeah. I'd like to try uh, something that I only uh, that I can do. That only I can do. And you enjoy. Mm. Because enjoy. even the way you lead yoga is different than anyone else. And when mm. we hear this, you're like, okay, sure. But it's true. <laughs> it's how mm. it's you. You are the person that is leading it. Mm. And when you're comfortable, mm. you mm. never know. Like people's lives can get changed. And you didn't even do anything hard. You just did what felt good to you. <laughs> It makes people feel. It makes people happy and smile. Is and then my, you feel happy too? Yeah, I feel happy too and enjoy, mm, and a creativity and a create new things. Yeah. In this world, is and it, and it makes people surprised. Wow, I've never seen this idea or something like this. Yeah. Mm, that is my enjoyment <laughs> you deserve it and you will get there like I think it's scary and I I keep mm. telling you it's scary just because I know it's going to pop up and I'm I want to remind you and you can listen to this audio again it's like okay fears are not the truth because mm. you feel like you know I'm gonna lose everything I'm gonna fall and then you realize hey I already fell here <laughs> it's not the end of the world <laughs> So just remember that when you feel the fear, when you feel the insecurity, mm -hmm. okay, how can I take care of myself and say, Mayu, it's okay. Because mm -hmm. even with a friend, when they're trying something out, mm -hmm. you don't expect it to be perfect. Okay. So, but we get very hard on ourselves. We want us to be perfect. We want us mm -hmm. to succeed right away without taking the steps. So whenever you feel the fear, you can ask yourself like, is this trying to stop me from going forward out of fear to protect me? Mm. Or is it actually a fear from other people that mm. is keeping me small? Mm. Mm. Just, okay. just hearing for it. You're like, oh, hello, fear. Okay. Like talk to it. <laughs> and you know, because sometimes okay. Okay. In, in our culture, we push it down. I used to push mm. it down. I feel unhappy, okay. push it down. I feel, push it down. Like, I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. And then like months later, I'm like, not fine. My body is showing me that I'm not fine. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, if I feel all the feelings, how can I take it one at a time and say, thank you for being here. What are you trying to yeah. tell me? And then it's like, is it true? <laughs> No, it's not. Okay, then. Thank you. Take another seat. Who else? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Does that feel easier to manage or more approachable? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, so I will, I will discover the fairness, where this fairness comes from. Like, to, yeah, like from my parents or... Uh, from my parents or social pressure or to protect myself from inner voice 
uh, and yeah. yeah, yeah. Then if it comes from social pressure and the parents, I, I resist myself first and then let it go. <laughs> try, 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 to, try, yeah, to, try, try, try to say like, thank you. Thank but you. I, I yeah say thank you I I find that sometimes saying it thank you makes it less scary because <laughs> sometimes it can feel like it keeps boxing you I'm like thank you but yeah I, I do this thank yeah you, but thank <laughs> I you, do this. but I think I'm going to try I'm going to play maybe changing the language as well like I'm going to play I don't know what's going to happen but I'm going to play I'm going to try many things out and in a way, we didn't get to talk about like the death of human design. I don't want to confuse you either. You, your energy wants to do a lot of different things. I don't know if you find yourself being pulled to many different directions or curiosities. Let yourself do it. And I know it's easier said than done, but let yourself explore if it feels good, because then that will nourish yourself. These little things that you feel pulled mm. to do will nourish yourself. And then little by little, we get to fill our cup. So we can then mm. pour it and help other people. But <sighs> when we have nothing in our cup and we try mm-hmm. helping other people, we are exhausted and we're not getting anything in return. No, 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 no. Mm. Allow yourself to do all the things you want to do. And maybe sometimes you don't finish. Nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> nothing wrong. I know, I know. Society, really? Right? Wow. Especially... Wow. You know, your your design and human design is called manifesting generator. If you want to read about it more, it's about you when you're excited about what you want to do, you might want to do like a zillion things. You're like cooking on the side. You started a new hobby. You made some balloons. You teach them yoga. And then maybe one day you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe I want to do this. Maybe I want to do that. And you are here to show us the possibilities, like when you embody that energy of what can be done. It doesn't mean that you have to be the expert of all of them. But society tells us we have to be expert of everything, right? Or that we have to master mm, mm. one thing. Yes. Not true. Not true for oh. your energy. And mm-hmm. you wouldn't be honoring where your energy wants to move if you keep saying no. And then you keep that, like you're in the box. Whenever you feel like this and you're like, I don't want to be in it. Mm. How can I nourish? How can I like let myself try it and see how that feels? Because right now you're not, you know, you no. No, you're not at a place where you're like, yay, I have so much to lose. You're actually like, mm. I'm tired and I'm defeated. <laughs> so what else can you lose but nourishing yourself? Maybe you'll gain something mm. back. Mm. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I like to nourish myself and gain something what I feel like to do and then feel my happiness cup. <laughs> yeah, I feel your yeah. happiness cup. And it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. <laughs> because they are not in your body. They don't know yeah. what you need. Yeah. They don't know yes. how my you is feeling. Mm. Only you know. If I want to eat ice cream, I want to eat <laughs> Yeah, you want to do it, and then maybe your belly hurts. That's okay. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. You just (laughs) I think it's removing the guilt from all the things that it just because guilt and the bad feelings can sneak into everything else we do that are good for us. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I got it. (laughs) Oh. I so I, I was so impressed. I I spoke Japanese a bit. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That means you're comfortable. That's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Because uh, and also when is if I uh, oh I uh, studying wellness beings including yoga also makes me sometimes feel pressure to not to eat this 
uh, not eat meat or not eat sweet things or so even i feel like to eat meat or like a delicious <laughs> processed food <laughs> I, I i feel hesitated and uh, not to eat but uh, on the other hand my father eat everything even he has skin eczema he doesn't matter eat a lot of meat processed food spaghetti and pizza a lot but he's very energetic even he looks horrible <laughs> 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 right right so there there is a balance right I and I I totally understand what you mean because I study health coaching maybe like seven eight years ago before that I was like super healthy like no organic like no sugar no that like and I was so miserable I could be the skinniest it didn't matter my skin looked okay but I was so miserable in the inside yeah yeah and then the more people I talk to, the more I realize health mm. is holistic. Health mm. is what we're thinking about. Health is what we're doing. Health mm. is our relationships. Like, do they feel nourishing? Or do I mm. feel like my friend or my, even my parents sometimes can be too much? How can I, you know, give myself the space to mm. honor my boundaries mm but also enjoy life. And I remember when I mm. had my terrible like skin eczema, my hands were like completely broken. And my, mm. my naturopath, my doctor was like, you need to enjoy the things you eat. You don't need to suffer. I'm like, I don't, but I'm suffering. <laughs> like, what do you mean I don't need to suffer? She's like, if eating healthy food, if eating broccoli, for I love broccoli, but for example, if you hate broccoli, but you force yourself to eat it because it's healthy, that's what people say, the way your body will take it will not be healthy because your body will be mad. And then like, mm. if your body is mad, if your body is not enjoying something, it won't process mm. it properly. Mm. Mm. So it's balanced. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, eat right. the healthy food that make you feel great. But if once in a while you want some like processed food, it's not the end of the world. Your body can handle it. Yeah. Once right. in a while, it's not going to break. If, if it's going to make you happy and bring you joy, oh, then isn't that what life is about? <laughs> balance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, sorry that to eat. So, so if I, uh, as you said, a uh, baby step to listen to my body, what I want every day is maybe not going to outside of my city. I want to eat something processed food. <laughs> yeah, maybe just try yeah. a little bit for one day and maybe your skin yeah. reacts. But instead mm. of saying guilty or mm. feeling that you did something bad, you're like, mm. okay. Then like the food was delicious. I enjoyed it. So that you, your body from going <gasps> afraid, because I think we're mm -hmm. in, a, in a very nervous, anxious place. Anything can make our body worse. So you're like, mm. it's okay. You're like, I can manage. It's a little bit itchy. Maybe tomorrow I'll be better. But like forgiving mm. ourselves, it's a big mm. part of our health, our mental health, forgiving ourselves. Like, mm. I used to think that it was my fault that my, that I had eczema. It was my fault that my health was not balanced. And then mm. I realized I was doing the best I can and being anxious or thinking mm. that I was doing the wrong thing because I mm. ate so healthy, but I was mm. so out of balance. Mm. And then I realized it was my mind that was like tricking me that things were good for me, but my body was miserable and I didn't listen. Mm. <laughs> I learned that lesson the hard way, but I had to learn. I'm glad oh, I yeah. learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whenever you feel this pressure of like fear or guilt, you're like, it's okay, Mayu. I'm just letting myself enjoy this and a little rash will go away in a few days. It's not going to kill me. Like I'm already miserable not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh you're welcome. You're oh. welcome. <laughs> How are wow. you feeling? <laughs> a I'm lot so of things. I'm so happy to listen that uh, that that conversation, uh, that topic, uh, because this was my uh, this was my uh, was huge uh, few things to 
fucking my energy or stuck in my life. Yeah. He's always when I try to when I to try to do something new, new one, always uh, this problem, my health coming up to my mind and I'm stuck to do it. So, but uh, thank you so much. Oh, everything balance. Even I'm yes, right, yeah. Even I, my skin is become better, a little bit better <laughs> by eating healthy food. Inside is miserable. Inventory collapse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everything needs to. You know, we need to be happy and also nourish with healthy food. There is a balance, right? <laughs> Once in a while, having fries is okay. Like, <laughs> there's nothing yeah. wrong with it, and. Huh. You know, it takes a lot of weight, more pressure. We have enough pressure, don't we? We don't need yeah. that extra. <laughs> yeah. oh. Do you have any uh, additional questions? Anything else that's on your mind uh, right now? And uh, do you think? Do you think if I uh, if I continue to listen to my body and uh, feel happy cups every day? Yeah. nourishing myself like uh, forgive my uh, inner voice or body body voice to do something that uh, that uh, i used to uh, i didn't i i didn't used to allow me to do like uh, eating processed food or something eventually i can find uh, can i find find what kind of ty- what ki- type of business i'd like to do clearly yeah yeah I, because i'm might, not clear you know it's okay it's not okay it's i think part of um there's also pressure to have everything figure out a lot of us are not designed to know where we're going mm. and all it takes is just to take care of ourselves and then maybe you get inspired or maybe a friend of yours like Mayu you're looking so much better what happened and that gives you a business idea I'm just throwing an example out there yeah you have to allow yourself to live when you you're filling your cup then you're like oh inspiration here and I get to do more Mm. and now that you're trying you know if you're incorporating some food if you feel scared you can always get a professional like a naturopath or you know some sort of doctor that you resonate and say it's like I want to try more things if you want to like to do it safely Mm. (laughs) because I don't want you to be like oh I'm gonna eat everything and then you feel worse either (laughs) so just you know try little things allow yourself Mm. and see how your body feels yeah Mm. Mm, yeah mm, yeah mm. yeah your body is here to support you but sometimes you know when we are not listening to our bodies then it's going to be showing us like hey you're not listening to me <laughs> that's why I'm showing you just rash you keep eating the food uh, like you know it doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong it means it's trying to tell you something mm-hmm. yeah hey okay 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 okay, okay thank you do you want to do some grounding before <laughs> you mm, just connect? Mm, mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe shake a little bit of the energy. We moved a lot of energy <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, a little bit of crying. <laughs> let it out. Let it out. Sometimes Emotion. emotions. Yeah. Let your body. Let your body process the things. The more we Thank push. Thank you. In, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you for your body. Maybe gently closing your eyes. If you want to keep shaking, that's okay as well. Or get super comfy here, wherever you're sitting. (sighs) Just want to say thank you, Mayu. Say thank you to your body for really taking you through so many experiences, for supporting you, for trying to talk to you. And you're here because we are here because of our bodies so I'm very grateful for how my body has been taking care of me and I will do my best to listen to honor what my body needs and if I notice any fear resistance guilt I'll try to take a step back And listen to the guilt or the fear 
instead of trying to convince myself otherwise. Say thank you for trying to help me, but I'm making space for my inner voice. I'm making space to believe in myself, to nourish myself every day. Even when it's hard, even when things get complicated, I can come back to my body. I can soothe it, do some deep breaths to help my body relax. Because I am worthy. I'm here to be more me. And I believe I can do it. If you want to put your hands on your chest here, maybe just a couple of breaths with your eyes still closed. Big inhales through your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. Couple more here. Big inhale through your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. One more time. Big inhale through your nose. And easy exhale out your mouth. Noticing how your body is feeling right now. You feel your heart beating in your hand. Thank you, body, for helping me process so many things today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And taking your time. Whenever you're ready, gently open your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel... Mm, I feel like more calm and st stable. Feeling like more... No fear <laughs> so far. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Remember, this is all you. This uh, is, I didn't do anything different. I just talked to you and you already <laughs> had, you know, I just clear some knots and you have, you can access that at any time. And sometimes all it takes is just to close our eyes and breathe and say, okay, it's not as. <laughs> as intense as I thought it was because I my mind always goes like you need to do this and that and I'm like and then I, I feel my heart and I was like oh wait I can just close my eyes oh okay I'm safe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you Mayu thank you <laughs> thank you so much for listening to the whole and unleashed podcast if you're feeling pulled to get into action and want to connect within, check out the Align and Embody journal on wholeandunleashed.com. You'll also find resources on mindset, human design, and archive for past episodes of this podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, please share, leave a comment or review on iTunes and Spotify. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day wherever you are. <laughs>